Oh my goodness, Bree. Oh, Bree. Probably. My mic hot? Oh shit, my mic's hot. Hey everyone. Welcome to the Scratchicus Academy. We are back, but with some honey heist today. Shenanigans galore, so I'm very, very excited for this. Um, I'm going to run through a few things uh, first before I hand over to the very lovely Mal. Please check out the links coming up in chat now. And that includes um, our Discord. There is a channel. I say for this game, but that's a lie because there is no Honey Heist channel. But please go check out our Discord. Um, also, if you've missed anything on any of the other shows beforehand, you can go and check out the YouTube um, for playlists um, and things like that. If you want to catch up or just binge watch, we um, also the I can't believe how quickly this season has gone. We've got the new season coming very, very soon. So if you want to get into a game, please drop Scratch DM on Twitter. Um, Otherwise, a huge, huge thank you to our wonderful sponsors in the form of Mage Hand Press, who created Dark Matter, and you can see all of their um, 5e uh, modules extensions over on Mage Hand Mondays. They're currently on the high seas. Um, pirates are good. 
parrots are always good. Um, also, the wonderful Hero Forge, which you, um, I don't know if you've seen their Kickstarter, it's been insane. They've blown it out the water. It's, I think it's, it's over 2 million now. Um, so, and now they're introducing kobolds and all of these other different things that are coming out. Um, last but certainly not least, the Deck of Many um, with the magic moving spell cards. Um, also, they created Humblewood and there may be a Humblewood campaign next season, which would be fun, fun, fun and awesomeness. Um, otherwise, I will hand over to the very lovely Mal before I start talking again. Apologies. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're gonna do some honey heist today. Everyone's gonna be bears or bear adjacent. Um, I guess we'll just, since part of the game is making characters, we'll just go with our player introductions for the day, starting with the very lovely NPC Bree. Hi everyone, it's NPC Bree. Um, I'm very excited to see what bear I play. I'm currently doing surgery on my glasses with, a, uh, with some tape. I wanna see if I can do it. Um, just so I can see for this game. So um, I'm very excited to see what kind of character I'm playing and hopefully it will be in relation to the fact that I'm going to have taped together glasses. <laughs> Ooh, there's Elmer's glue. I'm <laughs> Thank you, You're Elmer. all set. All set. And then of course, we'll go back to the very lovely Alice. Oh, hi, I'm Alice, also White Rabbit Pick on Twitter. Um, you can head over there. I do photography stuff as well as um, everything else. Just by Mal's face being here, I now remember I have a Patreon. <laughs> That's how good it's got. That Mal just keeps reminding me. I have a Patreon if you want to head over there and check it out. Um, I'm a DM and also, um, as you can see, player for this channel. I'm very excited for Bear Shenanigans. I always love Bear Shenanigans. I'm always up for bear shenanigans <laughs> as well. Uh, I'm Mal, I run Breath of Magic. I play in a couple of games on the Academy. I'm always glad to be here with these lovely people. And uh, as we've stated a few times, we're gonna have bear shenanigans today. So <clears throat> before we get into character creation for your bears, it's HoneyCon 2020. And this year, it's being held in the mysterious land of Toronto, Canada, to steal from Scott Pilgrim, because I love that line. Oh my god. Uh, I, I love it already. Sorry, carry on. I'm going to add this note. I know very little about Toronto, Canada, so don't expect realism from me today. If it makes you feel better, I don't know anything about Scott Pilgrim, because I'm, I'm, I've never seen it. Um, does it help I know nothing about either? <laughs> so, We're all, all good. set then. We're all prepared. So you can go away, Zelda. You're not, you didn't want to be on the stream. Go away. <laughs> no Toronto for you. <laughs> all right. So, to start, we will roll 3d6 to determine the description of your bear, the type of bear you are, which gives you a skill, and your role in the group. Okay, hang on, are we using real dice or are we using the Breath of Magic thingy? Um, I have uh, to. This is not my house, I don't got dice here. Okay. If, if you have real dice, then it's easier. You can totally do that, or you can go into roll 20 and do the slash. Oh, sorry, I've got this, so. I've got a five, a three, and a two. Okay, Bree, you are slick. Oh my God, Alice, this boats well. <laughs> <laughs> Bree, you are a slick panda bear who is the brains of the group <laughs> someone needs to be <laughs> and being a panda bear lets you eat anything that looks like bamboo and i do having played this a few times i do mean anything as long as it looks like bamboo oh my God. <laughs> uh alice you are the rookie a grizzly bear and you are the driver. Yes! Oh no! Yes! Oh, no. yes! Oh, no. Every no. damn time! Yes! Alice, the driver, as always. It's like, oh my god! This is, I'm destined for this. Mary Berry is back! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, so, Alice, being a grizzly bear, your, scare, your skill is terrify. Oh, Mary Berry is terrifying when you get soaky bottoms, hang <laughs> All right, and then if you'd like, we can now roll a D8 to see what kind of hat your bear is wearing. This is the best bet. 
I got an eight. That's okay. Sweet. I got another that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alice, Mary Berry is wearing a trilby. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Bree, you got an eight, so that means you need to roll again, and you need to actually, you will be wearing two hats. So I roll twice? So you need to roll twice again. Six so you, <laughs> your bear is wearing a fez and a flat cap. Fair. In what order? Flat cap, then fez, probably? Probably. Probably not. Mm, no, because the fez would stand up and then the flat cap probably fits over the top of the fez. That sounds about right. Uh, so we know we know that uh, today we will be joined by Mary Berry, the grizzly bear driver. Bree, what is your bear's name? I'm unsure of this. <laughs> Um, I think his name will be Jones. Jones? Jeff Jones. Jones and Mary Berry. Can you please change your Zoom names to your bear names? <laughs> Otherwise, I won't remember. <laughs> I'm on this. I'm on it. I'm on it. So is your full name Jones just Jones? <laughs> Yeah, Jones, just Jones. It's a uh, we're we're in here. Okay, so because I'm sure it's been a little while since any of us have played Honey Heist, if it's not our first time, you have two stats. Each stat starts with three points. You have your bear stat. You use this to maul stuff, run and climb, shrug off damage, scare people, or generally do bear stuff. Bear thing. You also have the criminal stat. You use this to do anything directly, not directly related to being a bear. So anything anything that's not a bear is a criminal stat, even if it isn't technically being a criminal. Um, when you act, you determine the outcome with a roll of a d6. If it is equal to or under the points you have in that skill, you succeed. If it's over, you fail. If you're using your bear special skill or doing something related to your role in the group, you get to roll an extra d6 and you get to pick whatever the lowest die is. So it gives you an extra chance of success. Um, so when a plan fails or you run into problems, you have to move one point from criminal into bear because you get mad and that brings out more of your bearitude. Oh no. And when your plan goes off without a hitch, you have to move one point from bear into criminal. So you always only ever have six points and they go back and forth. Uh, obviously, the higher a stat is, the more likely you are to succeed. <laughs> but there's an important thing about this. If either stat ever reaches six, you're done. So if your criminal stat ever reaches six, you are lured into a life of crime and you betray the party. If your bear stat ever reaches six, you flip out bear style and lose <laughs> it, presumably to be picked up by animal control in about a half an hour. That would take me alive. <laughs> so <Never>. with, <laughs> with, that in, with that in mind, you can voluntarily move one point from bear into criminal by doing a flashback scene in which you and the other bears plan out part of the heist over coffee and cigarettes in the back room of a seedy bar. You can also voluntarily move one point from criminal into bear by eating a load of honey. And I'll say that both of you start with one load of honey. So, you have spent your whole life in this majestic forest somewhere north of Toronto, Canada. But you know that HoneyCon 2020 is being held in the city. So, how do you want to get to HoneyCon 2020 in the mysterious land? of Toronto, Canada. 
I mean, I believe in walking in with confidence. So, drive in with confidence and stroll in with confidence. And I'm a very good driver. Zelda just keeps sitting here and shouting out random, like, roads not to take. Shut up! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, not in this stream! He said he didn't want to play! <laughs> it's Canada. I think we should involve, uh, the mooses. Can we- <gasps> Does it count as driving if I can drive a moose? I think it does. Like both because moose are big. Like two bears could fit a moose. Two bears could ride that. Yeah, right. And I've got like the hat for like oh, the wait. um. What are they called? Not the moose police. The Mounties. The what are Mounties. They That's it. Yeah. <laughs> moose police. <laughs> <coughs> So Jones, just Jones, thinks that driving a moose is the best. I've learned something if I've learned anything from humans in Canada. They're not as afraid of bears as they are of the meese. <laughs> so combine uh, meese and bears and then we've got a winner here. We could literally oh. storm a castle. <laughs> we could probably do whatever. <laughs> just storm we through the con on a moose. We do it true lifestyle. Interestingly enough, I do know that there's a castle in Toronto, Canada, and you know that that is where HoneyCon is being held. Oh my god, we're storming the castle! Yes! <laughs> I would like to acquire a moose, please. Where would we find a moose at this hour? They're everywhere. I always see videos of them, like, wandering into the neighborhood and destroying things. So can we or just like look out the window? <laughs> Well, you're currently out in the in the park, like in the. Also, forest. we need to find a suburban neighborhood swimming pool. Yeah. Oh, is that where all the moose live? That's where, that's where they live. That's them in the Can world. We live in <laughs> I've seen a YouTube video. I, yeah. I know. Yeah. Well, they run next to cars on highways. <laughs> yeah. I've not driven on enough Canadian highways. I've wanted to see a moose since I've gotten here, but no <laughs> dice. I like dinosaurs. I would like, like to find a local swimming pool, please. Oh, that's good. Yes. <laughs> Dim some I can see yes. it. I can see. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think you need to uh, roll to walk till you get close enough to like the suburb outside of Toronto. But, hmm. You come across a wood fence and your bare noses let you know that there is in fact a local swimming pool on the other side of this fence because you can smell the chemicals. And so I'm going to need you to roll bare to get through, around, or over this fence in some fashion. Was it a 1d6, sorry? Yes, it's 1d6. Can't go under it. Not six. <laughs> I want to do it like, you know, Hot Fuzz style, like when Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, they do the jump over the fence scene, if I could do something like that. Okay. Uh... <laughs> so, both of your rolls fail, unfortunately. Because you're, you're, both your criminal and bear stats are at three right now. Um, so that means one point from criminal will go into bear because you're getting frustrated already. <laughs> I am frustrated with this fence. <laughs> but I do think that that's a great idea. I love that I love that scene too, Alice, especially because they, <laughs> they do it in all three movies in a exactly. different fashion. And so... <laughs> I think what happens is you, uh, Mary Berry, if you'll allow me to describe it for you. Absolutely. <laughs> runs, runs up to the fence, puts their paws up, tries to pull themselves up and over, and the fence just goes, <laughs> And I'm like, I got it! <laughs> and it's Jones just Jones. You actually just walk through it. <laughs> Like you, you're five feet further away, and so part of the fence tips over, and you just put a bear-sized hole in the other section of fence. And I don't know 
why you do all that fancy stuff when you can just walk right through it. And I jump up like, ha, ha, <laughs> and I start to move towards the pool. This isn't even the mission, this is just the obtaining of the, hey, is there a moose in this pool? <laughs> I'm knocking stuff over all day, apparently, today. Hell yeah. Apparently, I'm too, there's too much energy in this bear heist. <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, after you make it through the fence, you look into the pool, and there, in fact, is a moose with a washed cap on over its antlers. Does it have swimming holes in, in it, or is it like just a giant? It's just the giant. The giant. Uh. Uh, I'll wait and, till and it it's, finishes. It's, it's swimming off. in the. <laughs> I mean, it's prob. I say swimming, but it's probably taller than the pool. So the pool's it's like. Probably, yeah, just kind of like standing in it, like <laughs> the moose do. The moose tend to can kind of just do. Yeah. So. Does it look moose. like an angry moose, or is it? You know, is it having like the time of its life? Is it? Does it look approachable? Um. I'd say you think it's approachable. You 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 would know that uh, all moose have tempers, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're angry all the time. I mean, it's different. Yeah, we're bears. We're better than people. Hey, man, what's <laughs> up? I'm like, rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> it's like head over there. Uh, now, excuse excuse me while I attempt a very terribly uh, what's the word I want? I can't remember it. The Stereotype. I'm gonna try and do a very terrible stereotype Canadian accent for this moose. So Wait, everyone just. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Get 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 up. Up. <laughs> okay. A few tips. They say big and pasta. <laughs> so I just I want to warn everybody in chat who might be and anyone that's watching this on YouTube later. This is gonna be bad, but it's all in good fun. Uh, so the moose looks over at you. That was quite the distra- that was quite the uh, noise you made there, eh? I'm sorry, I'm just yeah. absorbing the accent for <laughs> Don't see many bears around here. Well, really? we do see quite a few mooses in the pool. Hmm. Well, we live here, you know. Like six other moose in the pool. Yeah, they're all in the yeah, well, you, you, so you, you can see over the fence. Yeah, and you see over like... the fence and each, each <laughs> house has a pool with a moose in it. <laughs> We knew I'd find you, uh, and we need your assistance, this good moose. Oh, what do you need my assistance for, eh? Um, we need uh, you to ride us into battle. Battle? Well, we're gonna storm a castle. That sounds like fun, eh? <laughs> I can't wait for you to say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now well, listen, we needed that... the horse, the moose power to get into the castle, though. Well, I think you're gonna confidence. have to. I think you're gonna have to give me a little more information. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's this honey. I was about to go see. <laughs> there's this honey. <laughs> That is in the castle where the con is, and we need to acquire said honey. I'm making uh, honey cakes later, and I need it. Do you like honey cakes, Monsieur Moose? Oh, French Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you know anyone in the forest who doesn't like honey cakes, eh? I like mm -hmm. them. Actually. <laughs> Actually, old Timothy, old Timothy, the, uh, what, what, what kind of bird is that? What kind of bird is Timothy? A magpie? I don't think he likes them. Is it like a woodpecker? Not a magpie, is Timothy the woodpecker. Timothy ah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. He's a, he's a grumpy old bird. So how many of us, uh, how many of us are you going to need, eh? Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> well, hold on. I'm the brains of this operation. Let me think. I need one. How many people live in Canada? Not very many people live in Canada. So. <laughs> more moose than there are. There are more moose than <laughs> I've learned the population of Canada is smaller than the population of California. 
<laughs> all of Canada. Probably four to six. Or 46 if we're feeling like overkill. Oh, uh, well, um, let, let me just put out the moose call and see who shows up. And you hear this moose. Uh, if, if any humans heard it, they just hear the moose bellowing. Uh, I'm not gonna try and do a moose noise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is that because, what moose sounds like? Because Listen, I've been <laughs> screaming for three days, just at any like invaluable <laughs> time, just screaming. I can do it louder if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> because you're bears and you can speak to your each other and the other animals. Uh, While well, the humans just hear the moose bellowing the way moose do, you hear, "Hey, we need some, uh, we need some more of y'all over here, yeah." And the, you hear splashes as moose come out of the pools nearby, and it takes a while. It's really hard, even though the moose are tall. It's really hard to get in and out of these pools. <clears throat> uh, your legs. <laughs> you hear, you hear off in the distance, uh, the clatter of hooves, and then a thud, and what is probably antlers on. Uh, the pool deck and cursing in Canadian. Cursing in Canadian. <laughs> Canadians well, you, swear a lot. <laughs> but they no, swear so man. nice because they're so nice. <laughs> uh, and then you, you manage to get three more moose. <gasps> Four total moose. What are their names? Come on, DM. <laughs> are any of them French? Yeah, I was gonna say, is that Pierre? Wait, wait, wait! I am the French Canadian. Can you not tell by my outrageous accent? <laughs> um, well, we're just gonna it, all of all of these moose are gonna be named after friends of the channel. So, Zelda didn't want to come play with us. There's a moose named Zelda. <laughs> a moose named Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> She's in her meeting now, too, so I'm just gonna stay back for her shouting during this game. Uh, who else? Uh, who else do I know? Uh, there's a moose named Kiana. Who else do I know that lives in Canada? From the um, um, I don't know. La, how about let's? There's there's an, a moose named Lauren and a moose named Allie. So. There we go. All right, gentlemen and ladies and folks and around, we've got shenanigans to get part of. How many of you have ever stormed a castle? Are any of you part of the uh, moose police? It's important for me to know. Because uh, <laughs> this they, might very well go against the police force. Do they, is, do, is, what's, what do people say when the, you're a cop, you have to tell me, right? It's the law. Right. You tell me if you're a cop, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, there is a picture of the the moose police edited by Zell in our Discord chat. I did see. I'm very pleased with that. <laughs> uh, none of the moose are part of the moose police. Good. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Outlaw you're going, moose. You're going against your brethren for this one, but it is for, hands down, the most delicious honey cakes ever to grace this forest. The greater are good. <laughs> As I stand behind Jones, just Jones. I tip one of my two hats. <laughs> all of the moose, when Mary Berry does that, all of the moose go, the greater good. <laughs> all right, you you know that it's quite... <laughs> I'm drinking coffee, it gives me the hiccups. <laughs> But sometimes they only pick up like once or twice. <laughs> Can't repair for it. All right, you know you're still quite a ways away from downtown Toronto, Canada, where the castle is. So if you're both riding separate moose, I'm gonna need you both to roll criminal. Okay. Mary Barry, you are the driver, so you get to roll 2d6 because it's okay. your skill, or it's part, it's your job, sorry. Can two bears fit on one moose? Hold on. Largest moose 
I, I just have no chill. I just do the extreme. The Alaska Yukon Moose flies live in the state of Alaska in the Yukon Territory, the largest moose in North America, both in terms of size and antler size. Um, weighs around 1,800 pounds. How much does a panda bear weigh? Oh yeah, you're a panda bear. I'm a grizzly bear. This is like, and you like panda bears roll off of everything. <laughs> you're just oh, gonna no! go. Oh, can I be pulled by rope? Can I be pulled by like rope and like pool floating? A pulley system. I'd like to. Uh, could I tie the panda bear to a lilo and thus tie to a moose, please? No, tie to my back. Grizzlies are muscular in the back. Back yeah. muscle. You're gonna, you're gonna carry Jones, just Jones, and then ride a moose. Um, I'm gonna tie Jones just Jones to a lilo so it's comfortable. <coughs> and Can you then... explain to me what that is, please? A lilo? Oh, what? what do like Americans I'm sure there's an American word for it. I just don't know what you're talking it, about. It's like the bed thing that floats in the pool that you lie on. Oh, it's called. Uh, it's it's two words. It's like a, it's lie, a... like lie down and low. Like it's a relax. I think that's. I think that's the Canadian. I think that's the, the British thing we're going for here. Cool. Why would you cool it? <laughs> I mean, I'd have just called it a pool floaty, probably, because there's like so many different versions of it. Yeah, but... it's like an air mattress, but for the pool. Right. Yeah. I, I don't know that. what we call it in America. What do we yeah, call those? It's... Do we call them anything? Normally, we call them the things we get drunk on when we're in swimming pools. So we don't <laughs> accidentally drown. Oh no 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 no! They're a trustful chase floating swimming pool float lounge. They're yeah. called lounges. We lounge in them because they're. Uh, but because we're full of ourselves, <laughs> tanning bed with oh, oasis tanning bed with pillow. That's like I learned you don't lounger, have, you cool your things so they pool noodles. Yeah, mm -hmm. Is it, yeah, no, I don't that's a specific that. thing though. <laughs> oh, it's a big beach, foam noodle. noodle. Yeah, it's a yeah, big no, foam noodle. I call them wobbles. <laughs> so... We're very specific, like, y'all have like fun terms for things, like, oh, our lilos and our. Wobbles. Our like, floating lounges. Hey, wobbles. <laughs> like, this is a pool in a noodle. This is a floating device so I don't drown while I drink my beer in the pool. <laughs> you should patent that name. <laughs> I would like to tie Jones Just Jones to a pool lounger <laughs> and then tie Jones Just Jones from the pool lounger onto my back and ride for both of us. So, okay, <laughs> Ex explain how this looks to me. Well, I'm a very large grizzly bear in, mm -hmm. in, in a hat, and I, I'm not too much of a barbarian. I do let Jones pick the color of the, the pool floaty. Very good. Uh, just uses the nice lavender one because he picked up the green one first and put his claws into it. So he yeah, with the second best. And I sort of well, the the green one sort of reminds you a bit of bamboo as well. So right. So I was like feeling it. I gave it like a little dirty squeeze. Oh, oh my, my gosh! Goodness. I can eat a pool noodle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can eat pool noodle. <laughs> 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 I think we should take some pool noodles with us. Just in case, but I Just, eat all the green Well, ones. you never know. You never know when you need pool noodles. Um, so yeah, I'm sort of like, sort of like creating like a seatbelt thing, you know, you put like the crosses across on the, um, across Jones, Just Jones on this pool floaty, creating like arm holds so I can put it over like a rucksack on my back okay, as uh, I climb onto a moose. I guess where I'm confused is, is it you, just Jones pool lounge like, like strapped uh, to like, you, or are you are you like, dragging them? No, 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 no. It's it goes my back pool lounge. So kind Jones, of like those little Jones baby Bjorns. Yeah, called the okay. baby Bjorns. I'm I mean a baby oh, wait. Bjorn. Can we baby Bjorn it if like because panda bears are a lot smaller than grizzly, aren't they? Can I use um, the wobbles to make a baby Bjorn? Um, Don't eat them. I want to use non-green ones. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, they weigh like. I mean, they're like at least, according to Google, like a hundred to hundred and seventy kilograms more than panda bears. I mean, will... can I baby Bjorn Jones to my front and to distract them from eating the other woggles, give them a green one? Yeah, grizzly bears weigh up to like 800 pounds and uh, hold on, I'm doing this important Googling now. I can't do kilograms to make sense. I need this image like of us like this on a moose. <laughs> 
Listen, so, she's like 600 pounds more than me. I'm little. If Mary Berry would like to roll criminal to craft a panda bear baby Bjorn, baby Bjorn out of pool <laughs> supplies, I will totally allow it. Can I do it angrily? <laughs> so I have an extra D6. Hang on, so what am I on? Because when I got a nat one in the other for writing... So that's the, for, yeah. uh, I I did well. If you want, because I had you roll that, I'll let you keep that one, because one is good. Low is better. Oh, okay. So yeah, Yeah, since I had you roll for driving, and then you came up with this huge plan. (laughs) So yes, you masterfully cobble together through pool noodles, (laughs) flotation devices, and other things lying around. I'll say, because there's no rope, but you, uh, you grab the, the long hose that cleans the pool, and that's, <laughs> and you lash it all together somehow, and you Dang baby right. Bjorn the Jones just Jones and give them a green pool noodle because it looks like bamboo. The wishes, yes. Finks and chat said eating pool noodles while his girlfriend pulls a, uh, <laughs> while he's being pulled along by a grizzly riding a moose. The good life. <laughs> Yeah, Jones just Jones, the brains of the operation, is kind of just like chilling, like in his little baby Bjorn, eating some pool noodles. Like, Mary Berry's fucking got this. Is it like Shredder on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, where you're the brains? <laughs> anyway, uh, and then I would yeah, like to climb uh, on the Krang, yeah, Krang, yeah. It's totally Krang. <laughs> totally. I would like to mount the moose. Please. Okay, I I won't make you roll to mount the moose, <laughs> but since we used that nat one, the lucky lucky nat one, I'm gonna need you to roll again to drive the moose. Okay, well, so that's two d six. That technically, oh, is it a match? Meet or below? Yep. Okay, yeah, I meet it then. Okay, so the moose takes off. I don't know if you've seen moose run. Like, they're scary, but also kind of awkward. Oh, yeah, they're um, dinky little things, aren't they? I love them. Like, they're super tall, but those legs are small. I relate. Um, being really tall, but, like, watching me run is, like, <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> so, yeah, the moose, the moose takes off. And you just hear, hold on tight, eh? <laughs> and I hold on, I cling. Um, like, hold on, Jones, and off we go. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls out like a like a cigar. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you, you're the brains uh, of the operation. Like, You've got to have a cigar, right? I just my <clears throat> Gotta love it. I pull out um, um like a homemade cake or something. Just start to eat it. Okay. Is there honey in your cake? Sadly, no. Okay. That's why we're going to the castle. <laughs> so before we go any further, I just want everyone to know that regardless of what happens, no animals will actually be harmed <laughs> in this game. But as you as you you're riding the moose and these three other moose, <laughs> these four moose are running down the 401. The moose army. Moose. <laughs> Yes. Mal's moose like, Why army. Did I agree to this. <laughs> I mean, I've, it off. I've I've watched other people run enough honey heist. I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> this moose militia goes running down the road, and um. A couple of them get stopped by cars because they can't get out of the way fast enough. Oh, no, 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 no. I've learned something from mooses. Cars <laughs> stop for the mooses because- They go mooses... through the cars. <laughs> go through cars. What I'm, right, but what I'm saying is there there's enough traffic that even though the cars stop for the moose, a couple of the moose don't get to make it all the way to the city. That's fair. what I'm saying. Absolutely fair. I mean, because we heard Zelda yell earlier, right? That the 401's terrible. Right. Uh, so, God, her and her fucking get moves back up. I mean, yep. to be, so when I said I don't know anything about Toronto, Canada, I know very little about Toronto, Canada. I know there's a castle. I know a couple of people live there. And I know the 401 is terrible. I There's probably more things, but that's like the gist of what I know. Uh, 
I'm sending this photo into our our Zoom chat of a moose next to in a, in a parking lot. A moose in a parking lot. A moose in a parking lot. <laughs> yep. It's bigger than yeah. most cars. <laughs> I love them. I want to out of character in my dreams. The only don't don't tell my girlfriend this. But the real reason I went to Canada is so I could find a moose, befriend it, and then move into the wilderness with it. <laughs> I can see that happening. Mm. Don't tell her though. She'll get. I mean, if anyone was gonna do that, I feel it'd be the two of you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Combine moose adventures. So what I'm hearing now is that when we're done with this game, I need to write a game about being moose. You know the ones that are brother bear? That's us. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so by the time you reach what you know to be, you see it stretched out before you, the skyline of Toronto, Canada, as you approach, and you enter the city. Cars get out of your way because you're on a moose. Um, and shortly before you, you see the castle stretched out. Oh, wow. What... It, like, Jones is like looking over, like, wow. I'm doing it like this. <laughs> And uh, the, your moose, who, of the four mooses, we didn't decide who was who. So your moose just says, so we're going to the castle, yeah, right? That's where you wanted? Storming. It's right over storming there, right? Storming the castle. Eh? We can't get over the gates by ourselves. He's called Storming Norman. Don't laugh at his name. <laughs> He's very proud of his name. <laughs> as, <laughs> as you ride your moose majestically towards the castle. It's majestic. Jump is in a fucking baby Bjorn <laughs> bouncing behind me. Majestic baby Bjorn. <laughs> it's like, a majestic it. baby flapping in the wind. I ride it like, you know how Ace Ventura rides it and he goes all over the place in the car? Yeah, <laughs> when he like just bounces. Just, oh yeah. Baby Bjorn at the front, like. <laughs> <laughs> but as you approach the castle, you realize they've erected a large fence, larger than even this moose can maybe handle. And you see lights blinking atop it, and warning signs that you can't quite tell what they say from here yet. But as you take all this scene in, you hear police sirens. We are the police. <laughs> we, we are, are the police. police. We, we have the moose to prove we, it. We have the moose. <laughs> Play it cool, Storm and Norman. Yeah, I'd like to, like, are the police approaching or are they like on us? Um, it's, it definitely, they're not on you yet, but it does sound like the sirens are coming towards the castle. How many moose do we currently have? Out of I'm the gonna, four. Out of the four, I'm gonna say you have Storm and Norman and one other moose. Can we stack the two moose? I'd like to, to get stack over the moose. <laughs> Storm and Mor Norman and Balancing Benny. Yeah, he can go on top, he's the balance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if you'd like to roll criminal to try to stack <laughs> these moves. Okay, hang on. I can do this. Are we both doing it? Ooh. What kind of fence is this? Like, what does the fence look like? It's like yeah! <laughs> Are you uh, Oh my god. I'll roll I'm a, I am champion moose stacker. <laughs> yeah, not bad. So the fence is you don't know how long it's been here because you haven't been in Toronto in years, but it's, um, there's large stone sections and then there's wire and poles and signs everywhere. Poles? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like poles, like it's, it, 
sort of like chain link, except there's like thick poles running along part of it. Oh, so not not like pole vaulting. That's not a right. Okay. Um. How wide are these poles? <laughs> and you fit a moose in between. <laughs> um, the poles themselves are probably only a foot in diameter. <laughs> um, the thing is, Jones, just Jones, being that you're the brains of the operation, when you get closer, right before Storm and Norman touches this fence and you're about to stack the other moose on top of it, you realize this is an electric fence. <laughs> How does that affect edibility? Because I just Googled <laughs> it and apparently the largest bamboo is a foot in diameter. <laughs> does it so... look like bamboo? <laughs> well, your skill says you can eat anything, anything. that looks like bamboo. So. It is a pole about a foot in diameter, and that sounds exactly like what Jones just Jones will eat. He's eaten six cool noodles and hasn't pooped in four years. He's ready. <laughs> He's ready to face electric. <laughs> well, I'm gonna need you to roll bear to eat this, please. You can okay. roll your st you can roll 2d6 because it's your skill. This is the whole reason. And my bear is higher now in. because I threw a fit. It's a four now. My bear is four. Uh, uh. <laughs> Can I use my advantages? I haven't <laughs> been. <laughs> you, if you really want to use your advantages from Breath of Magic, <laughs> you can. I'll totally. I'll let you to. use them. <laughs> this is why we got them. I'm sure. C4, perfect. I used my advantage. I got what I needed. I had a four and bear. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Uh, you've never had bamboo that tastes this tingly, but you kind of like it. <laughs> it's tingly, um, it's, it's tangy. <laughs> Mary Berry, you see Jones just Jones start to eat this metal pole, and you see the like little arcs of electricity zapping at them. Do they seem oh, to yeah, be I'm making gonna become a anime character. This is like... how this happened. <laughs> this is, how, this is literally how superheroes happen. <laughs> like... Um, I'm about to be a shonen. Do they look like they're going to hurt themselves, and do they look like they're going to get through the fence before they hurt themselves? Uh, it doesn't. Can appear I acquire to... some rubber gloves? <laughs> because we were planning beforehand, right? I mean, I think Mary Berry would have like yeah, like, like gardening gloves, like the ones with the rubbers on them, like yeah. Palms. Mary Berry gives me the aesthetic that she would have gardening gloves. She does have a go. You should check out her home show where she talks about the stuff in her garden. Her webinar. <laughs> my web series. I, I go on every Tuesday. I have like, my own every like, my house. I have my own like vlog on Bear Tube, so <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes, if you want to have gardening gloves with the rubber grips and whatnot, totally. Yeah, and I'm going to go up and stop pulling these things off. And I'm going to use my angry, terrifying thing and be going at the same time. <laughs> do the bear thing. I'm going to do the bear thing. Uh, so who, who are you trying to terrify by doing this? The guards on the other side. <laughs> Are there guards okay. on the other side? We'll say yes. Okay. Are... <laughs> As Jones starts eating their waiter, I come up behind them and they're like, oh, look, a cute panda bear. And then I'm just going to rip through like a T Rex of Jurassic Park. I know. And like, because <laughs> it's that kind of thing. <laughs> Jones' little round body is like, he's just going to town. He's got the big <laughs> cheeks and he looks so sweet with his two funny hats. And he's just like, <laughs> part of the disguise. They'll never guess <laughs> me. That's when we get Mar good old Mary over here. That's what Mary's for. And I went, yeah, ripped through this like a T-Rex in Jurassic Park. Okay. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll bear with your 2d6, please, for using Terrify. Uh, <laughs> I got a meat on bear. Then that's a success. Thank God. Hey, do I now add to another? Hang on. I went bear, so I go five down bear, don't I? Oh, if uh, I use... So because your roll succeeded, you actually put one point back into criminal. Oh, okay, then I'm actually uh, it, two, Everything's two constantly shifting back and forth. Okay, I'm actually, okay. 
So if you three. if you were at four, you're now back at three three. Yeah. Okay, I'm at three three. So I'm at a normal level of bear right now. As I'm eating this metal bowl, excellent, wonderful, good enough. Um. So yeah. Uh, Jones, just Jones is chomping down on these metal poles as fast as he can. Mary Berry, you're pulling things off and. Uh, Apparently, the electricity just doesn't matter to either of you. Even <laughs> Mary Berry brought <laughs> gloves, and Jones just Jones thinks it tastes good, I guess. And I'm wielding them now. I'd like to take I... the poles with me. <laughs> also, is like just Jones still attached to my front? So, like, they're like, oh, look a little bit, and then I've ripped through. Yes. I'm oh, like your small baby. <laughs> You're uh, like a cigar. Baby. You were definitely <laughs> so, smoking earlier. <laughs> there's, there's a, there was a guard standing there smoking a cigarette on break. And he just, you see this look flash across his face and he just goes, Ugh, Americans, and he walks away. <laughs> I'd like to take his, I'd like to take his cigarette and hand it to Jones. Uh, an after dinner smoke. He's like, rah, 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 with my bars in my hands. Um, if, hang on, is this guard walking away to alert someone? Uh, or is this an I don't get paid enough walk away? Yeah. yeah. You, you, the, this is definitely an I don't get paid enough to deal with these Americans walk away. Okay. <laughs> I will say that <laughs> just because I want I had this I the terrible idea. So this guard is French Canadian, but he's f very more French. So you just hear ah, the Americans. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this. I quit. <laughs> American bears and moose. I don't get paid enough. I quit. The French part of Canada that doesn't like the English part of Canada. Be gone. I'm going back to Quebec where I belong. <laughs> There's no Canada like French Canada. <laughs> uh, so you've made it through the electric fence, and that in front of you is success. In, fr uh, in front of you is Castle Loma, the castle in Toronto, Canada. I googled it. It's right big. It's massive. It is. It is. What's it called? Castle Loma. Loma. Casa probably, but I'm an Loma. I'm an American, Casaloma. Casaloma. Oh, I see. Casaloma. Look at that, fancy. Hang on, let me let me just get a picture up so I can see his weaknesses. <laughs> There's those windows to the left. Yeah, look because, at those. <laughs> yeah, the way it's kind of like jutted off to the side a little bit. I mean, we could go in that way. There's a fountain. Oh my god, can we roll around the fountain for a while? Oh, yeah, can we just like cool off for a second? Hang on, wait, with electricity. Hang on. I want to be super charged! <laughs> but we do have woggles. <laughs> Are there any moose in the fountain? Oh my gosh, I just thought of something. What? We can fill up those tubes, we can like suck water into the tubes, run out and squirt people with it. And we're electrically charged, so if I shoot out bolts, it's electric water, and I can shock the guards did, with my electric water. Did we pick up super soakers from the pool? There were no super soakers. Pool noodles have a hole in them. If we still go, yours have holes in them. Yes, ours have holes in them, so you can suck out water and spit it into your friend's face, and then make I don't them think cry. that's actually why they're there, but yes, you can. <laughs> Listen, I cried so much as this small human being. I know it's exactly what they're there for. <laughs> But this time Jones is doing it, and he's electrical. He's electrical. He can like shock people. It's like a like a water electric. You're type a high sport. voltage panda. Oh my god. <laughs> so you're danger, danger. <laughs> I'd you're... like to sing that as Jones goes, if that can help. <laughs> <laughs> so you're. <laughs> Discussing the next step of your plan together, uh, and whilst waist deep in the fountain, waist deep in the fountain, <laughs> and uh, I'm, as soon as Jones sucks up a bunch of water in the noodle, you realize that uh, a little bit further away, there's a long line of animals and people. And it says Honeycon 2020 uh, badge pickup. Does Joan see anyone who just has a badge, who just got their badge? 
you want to be detached from the baby Bjorn? Yeah, I need you to remove me. I, I like I'm leaving the whole unlatch. thing on you, but I'm just unlatching the top half. Um, <laughs> I think if you want to see if someone has a badge, I'm gonna need you to make a roll. Do you think that fi- uh, seeing this badge? Do you think that's being a bear, or do you think that's not being a bear? That I'm gonna need you to roll against your criminal, please. So unfortunately, you don't see anyone who's gotten a badge yet, and that does make you angry. So your one point goes from criminal into bear, and uh, you you do you do notice though, Jones, that uh, the line to get in is slowly moving. What if I just spray everyone in line so they get electrocuted and get in front of them? <laughs> Question. Do we still have our moose? Yes. I'd like to ride the moose as the moose police. Okay. <laughs> um, to try and get into the garden because I am police. Okay, I'm gonna need you to... Uh, I'm gonna need you to roll criminal, but since you're driving the moose, I'll let you have your 2d6. I fail. <laughs> I okay. Fall off the moose. <laughs> you charge up to the front of the line on this moose, and you're all in your weird, not really human talk, but you sort of mangle human speech with your bare mouth. Mouth. And um, do you? I'm. Are you like you brought right up? Like we're the moose police. You need to let us in, or something like that. Um, uh, just like um, I'd like to get like um. If I can have a piece of paper or something, it's not actually an ID, but to flash it really quickly and pretend that I haven't shown it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you, you ride up and you flash like, this piece police. of paper, moose police, let Lucky us does. in. And uh, you see in front of you... Uh... Moose police. <laughs> like, oh. not, not moose police. What What is the one thing in Canada that is terrible? Geese. You see... No! A pair. You <laughs> no! see a pair. A pair of geese. Canadian geese. <laughs> no! This is this is the onslaught Jones just Jones takes advantage of. Jones, no! <laughs> Jones will unleash his electric belly water all over them. Fuck geese. Um, can I hold Jones up at the right height for it as well? So I'm assuming oh my God, I'm baby. I'm just, baby. No. <laughs> Jones now. <laughs> sure, Jones, please roll, roll me a criminal. Is that criminal? It's not being a bear, that's for sure. Blowing water on geese, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a natural, it's a natural process. Hell yeah! I got a one! Zap those geese! Wait, 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 wait. When I get a success as a criminal, do I get a point in bear then? No, it's anytime you succeed, a point goes into criminal. Okay, so now there's another point into criminal. Yeah, so like everything's. Uh, you only ever have the six points, but anytime you fail a roll, regardless of what stat you're using, it, a point goes into bear because you get angry. Anytime you succeed, regardless of what stat you're rolling with, a point goes into criminal because you succeeded. Okay, so cool. I just didn't want to like go any farther into bear because I'm going pretty far into bear, but now I'm back to balance. I am not balanced. <laughs> I'm very You do criminal. both have your piece, your uh, one thing of honey, if you need to if you need to move a point back into criminal. Or bear. Into bear. So if you need if you if you've got too much bear, remember you can do a flashback and talk about the plan to get a point in from bear into criminal. I don't know that you think we have a plan. <laughs> uh well the last time I played this uh, all I because there were like 13 of us playing at ah! at, at like packs unplug and Yep. And so I mostly just let everyone else cause chaos and 
every so often I was just like, I'd like to use a flashback. <laughs> and I kept putting points in the criminal without doing any other roles. And every time it was just, I'd let the other, the, most of the group like do all this crazy shenanigans. And then I'd go, I'm going to use a flashback. And you see this chalkboard and I'm writing on it. And I've, I know that all of these things are going to happen and I'm planning for them so that I can stay one step ahead and get the honey <laughs> for myself. But, and I, I I made almost no rolls, but using only flashbacks, I went full criminal and betrayed the party. Damn straight you did. Anyway, you succeed at spraying water at the geese. It's slightly electrically charged, but they don't seem to <laughs> mind. They don't seem to really, it doesn't seem to do much. And Goose being snacks, that they're- Goose bamboo! <laughs> <laughs> They're like bamboo with like the bubbles on the end. <laughs> like little flowers at the end. Delicious. I will eat the bamboo next. I, if they can I would like it. to just throw Jones at the geese. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do they have? Do they have? Uh, do they have badges? We don't need those <laughs> badges. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 when you've got to make the DM stop for a drink. <laughs> so you, you, they do have badges, but what you oh, realize, yeah. what you realize now is that all of the badges are badgers. Wait, the geese have badges attached to them the same way jo I have Jones attached to me, or the badges are a separate thing? <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to clarify something. <laughs> They're all wearing miniature badgers as badges. And because they're live badgers, they're just... Wait! Jones, you're black and white, right? <laughs> yeah. I've got my own badge! <laughs> just, you're like, you had to get a bigger badger because you got fucking grizzly <laughs> there. Yeah, like, I've just got, like, this is my badger, like, attached to my front. I'd like to intimidate with my badge. I'll hold Jones and be like, ah. <laughs> Leave uh, my badge at them. <laughs> my badge badger. <laughs> Which is actually a panda. <laughs> uh, sure, if you want to try and get this to go off, I'm going to need you to roll criminal. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. I need to beat a fool. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> we're in on a gun, kind of. <laughs> Oh no, I'm at five. I'm, I'm gonna use my honey to go back into bear. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you convince these two Canadian geese that you had your badge mailed, your badger mailed to you ahead of time. And they let you, they tell you you have to go into uh, the other line because you still need to get checked in at registration, but you already have your badge. You don't need to wait here and they will let you pass into Honeycomb. Did I take any years of Badger in high school? Huh? How many years of Badger did I take in high school? I dropped out, so... I went to uh, un unfortunately, at your school, they didn't offer Badger as an elective. What about in college? <laughs> did you go to college? Of course! I have it's thousands of dollars in medical debt! This That's why I can't brains. afford money! <laughs> this is the brains! <laughs> I'd like to pick up my panda and leave. <laughs> I at least went to trade a very good trade school. <laughs> uh, Jones, what are your stats at right now? Three and three. Okay. Oh, yeah. there. If Jones would like to have a flashback and explain <laughs> how he knew to take Badger to be ready for today as part of his plan and put a point <gasps> into criminal, I will allow you to have taken Badger in college. Hold on. Is this a flashback? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Just give me a second. This is, uh, I am now Jones's mother, Jessica, just Jessica. <laughs> Just Jessica, Jessica Jones. Oh my God! <laughs> Jones, you never get on out to anything. You don't know any foreign languages. You don't try in school. You don't have any friends. 
You're never going to have a girlfriend. You just sit around and play your games all day. Your fort bears and on your book faces and on your bear books. And you need to do something. You need to learn something valuable. The community college has a badger course going on and you should take it. Do you, do you need do someone something to, with your life? Do you need someone to play Jones? Just Jones? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'll see, how are you doing this? <laughs> Mom, there's no reason for me to ever learn badger, beaver, bird. I don't need to learn another language. I just like to your say, cry. everyone, these are the skills you can learn at the academy. You're making your mother cry. <laughs> learn something, do something with your life. I speak 14 different animal languages. Your father. Father left us, mother. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just another one. You're not oh, real bad. Oh, my son <laughs> breaking my heart. <laughs> and that's why he took the foreign language. Okay, and I now will he's allow like you. Looking up, he's looking up. He's like, I did this one for you, mama. <laughs> okay. Mary's so. very confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this all happens. Uh, in uh, Jones, just Jones's mind, he mem remembers this, and you all Mary Berry sees this. I did this for you, Mama. <laughs> I'm looking down at my chest, like, you okay, boss? And <laughs> I think we'll take our five minute break right there. <laughs> Everyone, go get a drink and stretch your legs and take a breath before we storm a castle. See you in a minute. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you.
So, Jones had a flashback explaining how he knew to have taken Badger. So, what are you doing with this information, Jones? <clears throat> well, um, I'm going to use it at Badger's check-in. So, in my Badger that I know, I'm just going to say, hmm, my father was a Badger. This one, oh. this one got the discount ticket. Uh, it's another, uh, so you, okay. So you approach this, uh, you know, I mean, we've all gone to some cons, right? I mean, I, there's this table and they, you know, there's a couple of geese standing around it and, you know, and they, you know, check off your badge, num your badger number and you tell them this and that and they, um, yeah, everything looks all right. Uh, head on in. And they give you a program with a map, you know. Hey! But being that this is a honeycon, it's not a simple, like, threefold. It's like you have to open it, open it, <laughs> open oh God, it. And it I'd like to open it with my big bare arms, please, and hold it open. Okay. I'll use my feet to push down. <laughs> I could cut eye holes in it for you. <laughs> Let's just say it. <laughs> Alright, where do I see the honey? Hmm. Uh, so you see that there's, uh, on the third floor, where mm. the castle's got a third floor, because fuck it. Because it's a castle. <laughs> I don't know how many floors Casaloma has or like what's entailed, but I can look for you. <laughs> there's towers. <laughs> Somewhere where there's room, they have the vendor floor where all of the honey vendors are selling their honey. Question. If I, find a castle, if I find an actual castle floor plan and blueprint, are we allowed to use it? Sure. Okay, they also have an elevator to the far end of the place. Hang on, Bri, I'll send it to you. Very good. Um, the building is 460 feet tall, um, with a floor count of seven. <laughs> then I'm about to get the map of this fucking castle. I've got it. I've got the map. <laughs> put, put it in Zoom, please. <laughs> Give me a Hang link. on. That's the main floor. I want one of the little floors. All seven? No. Hang on. Hang on. Chat, in case you were wondering, me and Alice being left alone for too long. <laughs> some deep research and lore of the castle I'm, I'm gonna send you the link because for some reason it's not opening properly as an actual thing oh i found the third floor blue oh wow actual blueprints got them oh wow 
And if we want the old, um, what's the call it ones? So we have two main towers, two circular main towers. Oh wow, this is the actual. Yeah, actual blueprints. Give me time. <laughs> Give me time. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We got an idea. So, what, we should head towards the elevator then? I'd say so. At the far end of the corridor, there should be an elevator that takes us up to this next story with access to the towers. <laughs> <laughs> what did you sign yourself up for, Mal? should have called sick. <laughs> I mean, this has been a blast. I don't know what we're talking. So, um, yeah. So, you know that um, in addition to whoever wins the Honeycon uh, costume contest gets a big amount of honey, but you know that on the third floor is the vendor room where all of the various animals and people, because there are people here who either they don't realize what's going on or they think everyone's in costume, but there's vendors selling honey on the third floor. Um, but as you're looking at your uh, program, uh, you turn it over to see like all the things that are happening throughout the various days of HoneyCon, because uh, this is a four day convention and it's only day two. So it's, I, if this was real a real con, it would have started Thursday. It runs through Sunday. It's currently Friday. But uh, you, you're reading what all is going on every day. And you see in big, bold letters trying to draw your eyes to it that um, first prize or grand prize in the costume contest is a briefcase of pure Manuka honey valued at five million dollars. Costume contest. What's the theme? What, I say, what is the theme? <laughs> <laughs> I have wobbles. We can work with something. Yeah. Uh, I think that that's going to require you to make your way around the con and see if anyone has information about this contest for you. So, you do know you can go up to the third floor if you're hurting for honey. Or you can try and find someone to give you more information about this contest. Let's well, find someone to give me some more information. Unless you need a pick. You repeat that, my internet cut out. <laughs> I said... I'd like to look for this costume contest, unless you need a snack. Is it? Just does a slow shake of the head and gestures. If there's any like kids dressed up or anything, I want to head towards them. Approach the children. <laughs> Approach the children. <laughs> ar, um, ar. <laughs> it's like head over. <laughs> sure, we'll say there's um. You find uh, you don't know if there's if they're kids, <laughs> but you find a bunch of small people dressed like Ewoks from Star Wars because they're t essentially teddy bears. This we can do. <laughs> so I sort of look at them. Um, when you say there are like stools and things and everything, do any of them have tablecloths? Um... I think most of the tables, like, I mean, if if in the quarter here, there's not a lot of tables, because that was just uh, the table up front. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you go, if you make your way up to like where the vendors are, usually their tables have tablecloths and other things. I'd like to swipe a tablecloth and make it look like one of the Ewok um, hood scarf things. <laughs> <Hood scarf. laughs> Hang on, I need a scarf. <laughs> But yes, I would like to e this. I have tied myself in the knot, please continue. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Currently, my the love of my life, the feral child that I am dating, is <laughs> playing with various fire devices to try and fix a fireplace. That little lighter, really? <laughs> 
Please, There's please matches. Get... At least get a match and like chuck it or something. Keep yourself safe get... for Christ's sakes. Please do not <laughs> play on please, please, please get the like long uh, neck lighter. No, 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 no. She's got like a fucking cigarette lighter. What are no, you doing? No, no, no. Ah! You need, you need one of the like long grill lighters. I need oh, a no. <laughs> Or you need like a, a grill match that's nice and long. No, she won't. She's fair. Please, Zelda. I, I please. <laughs> Risk of severe burns! Stop! Yes, you are the child to keep away! I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, are we dressing up? I, I didn't have a costume. I, I love it, but I'm gonna need you. I'm if if you're trying to dis if you're trying to disguise yourself to talk to these other patrons of the con, I'm gonna need you to roll criminal, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm criminal. I'm back at three. No, I'm back at three. My girlfriend's gonna die live. Oh, hang on, hang on. I actually just. <laughs> hang on. Hey, Scrap, what's you as <laughs> not on camera but on stream? <laughs> I don't. I don't think Scrat's back yet. <laughs> no, he's gone. Oh no, Scrat's not back yet to parent his child. <laughs> Also, my brother got me this. Look how fucking terrifying it is. It's amazing! Okay. And those are teeth. Yeah, it has actual teeth. You this should, is uh... my Ewok child. I mean, Ewoks totally have teeth. <laughs> They're terrifying. <laughs> That's what this is! So, you, Mary Berry dresses up like an Ewok to do what? Blend in. <laughs> okay. I'm don't gonna win this competition. Bones. This is a badass, like, costume. Until I get more information, I'm dressed up as a gift because that's what I am for this Hello, world. Hello, darling. <laughs> is that Scrat? <laughs> tell Scrat what my wife is doing, please, for the love of God, so you can tell me. He just stop. left me. Scrat, come back! Please, <laughs> I can tell her to stop. I'm so scared. <laughs> Okay, I'm a kid. so what would Jones, just Jones, like to do while Mary Berry is uh, putting on this very convincing disguise slash costume? Um, Jones, just Jones, put a little bow on his head, and he's going to waddle over to, um, probably over where, like, some extra, like, brochures or something are, and he's just going to, like, sit there, and he's going to, like, mm -mm. Kind of just throw him around while he's sitting there, like making big panda face with a little bow on his head and just like tearing up strips of paper to draw an audience of the adults who want to take Instagram photos. Okay. While you start to tear these pamphlets into strips of paper, you realize <laughs> you're going to get attacked, Alice. <laughs> I went healing uh, fishing. <laughs> You caught a Hildy. It worked. Uh, anyway, Jones, you te start tearing these strips of paper off these pamphlets, and you realize all of these strips of paper look like bamboo. Hey! And after a few minutes, you realize that you're out of pamphlets because you ate them all. Don't chew it. Have I garnished an audience? Um, for being cute. I'm gonna say roll bear. All right. I'm gonna eat my honey, so I can have four bear. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> I'm a gift. I'm a freaking gift. <laughs> you eat all these pamphlets and you're like, why aren't people watching me? I'm a gift. I'm a freaking delight. <laughs> I'm allergic to adhesive. I don't know why I did this. Ah! <laughs> it burns. <laughs> the kinds of poor life choices you make while playing RPGs online. Well, it's true. I have my glasses taped together. I've got fucking stickers on my head. I'm a mess. I just <laughs> held his head back. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, apparently, no one's come to watch your display of whatever your this was supposed to be. Jones. Pandism. It's pandism, my religion. <laughs> okay. I sit somewhere and be cute, draw an audience. They worship me as the panda deity that I am. Pandism. Mm -hmm. I, it, it's hot in the Ewok. I might have to take this. <laughs> <laughs> So what 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 are the two of you doing now? I want to win this competition. I want to find where this competition like judging is. Okay. Um you do still have the large pamphlet. Um I didn't and you can that one. Right, you didn't eat that one. You left that one with Mary Berry and you found another table full of stuff. Um and Mary, you can read on the pamphlet that the costume contest judging is uh, Friday in the afternoon. In fact, uh, it looks like it might have started already. I want to yell to Jones in like bear, like, you know, like how they do at baseball. Like, in fact, no, I'm just going to run past and swipe up Jones who sat in this like pile of shredded um, pamphlets and run towards the um, competition. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need you to roll bear. And a roll bear. Oh, this for me. Thank you. Um. <laughs> oh, hang on. I need to stop doing that. That's definitely just a link to the map of the place. Uh, Yes! <laughs> All right, so Jones, you're sitting on this table wondering why these people aren't enjoying you. You're a goddamn delight. Oh, a goddamn panda, I'm a treasure. <laughs> and... There are some few of us left. Endangered, endangered. Suddenly, Mary Berry comes galloping by? What do bears do? I'm not sure. Like, Glumping, trundling, maybe? Trundling. Yeah, trundle. Tr Mary Berry trundles by very <laughs> speedily. And scoops you back up in your baby Bjorn. And ah! Grizzly bears can reportedly reach up to 35 miles an hour top speed. I'm fast. Yes. <laughs> He's fast. Technically, Mary Berry is faster than Saint <laughs> Bolt. Yep. Um. <laughs> oh my God! Grizzly bears are terrifying. I'm watching a YouTube video of them running. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Mary, you, you know from looking at the pamphlet to find out the time of the costume contest, you know where it is, you know that it's on the top floor. In fact, they're holding it um, in one of the... Uh, where's my... I'm gonna assume there's like a big outdoor courtyard, but it's up on one of the other floors, because castles are fancy like that. Castles are fancy. So, you're gonna have to get back in the elevator. Oh, I hate elevators. I head hard. to the elevator. I will hold the door open for anyone else who wants to get on because I am a polite bear at the end of the day. Okay. A couple of... You see um, a couple of Ewoks get on. You see... Uh, you see someone dressed up like Kung Fu Panda gets on. He stole your look. <laughs> okay. Piss. Um, <laughs> I'm learning a lot about what's, bears today. What's, <laughs> what's, what's another good uh, bear people can dress up as? A female bear is called the sound. <laughs> bear facts. <laughs> um, brother bear? Isn't sure. that just a bear? That's a, yeah. Winnie yeah. the Pooh! Winnie the Pooh. There. Winnie the Pooh! Um, let's so, see, there's other movies that involve bear called famous, The Bear from 1988. Famous um, bears. Paddington is a bear, apparently. Yes, Paddington. Yep. Bear. Okay. So, uh, you hold the door for the elevator. In addition to Mary Berry and Jones, just Jones on this elevator, we have two Ewoks, uh, Poe from Kung Fu Panda. We have Hello. Winnie the Pooh. We have uh, we have Blue, but I'm gonna say it's Blue from Tailspin specifically. So he's got the pilot hat and the ja the jacket on. Yes. What about Bear in the Big Blue House Bear? That's a good bear too. <gasps> Little John from Robin Hood. Sorry. <laughs> I've sent you down a rabbit hole, apparently. <laughs> um, but it's very, it, the elevator very quickly reaches maximum capacity with two actual bears on it. 
Is there a bear in Over the Hedge? I think so. It's Over the Hedge? It's where that squirrel eats too much sugar and you're <laughs> That's all I, I know. I think there's a bear oh! in there. Oh! So, two Ewoks, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, and... <laughs> Walk into a bar. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Two, e two Ewoks, a grizzly bear, a panda bear, and Winnie the Pooh walk into a bar. I don't know the rest of the joke. Oh, this is a mess. A bear's hand dog. And uh, you all ride up to the costume contest. Um, it's hot in the Ewok, thank Valid. <laughs> you get up to there and you realize that the line is extremely long. <laughs> um. I could fake an allergic reaction. <laughs> How, what, you ate too many pamphlets? <laughs> how would that help win the costume contest? How's everyone online? I'm currently looking up the most famous panda bears. <laughs> oh, he knew Kung Fu. You could know Kung Fu. I know, but there's actual, I, there's literally a website. Oh my God. <laughs> I just had, I know. Are there the famous next... grizzly bears? Hang on. The next time I run Honey Heist, it's gonna be The Matrix, but Honey Heist. Oh my god. So you can be a bear and literally go, I know Kung Fu. <laughs> oh man, could you imagine? How original this grizzly bear was called Grizzly. Can you imagine though? Uh, you start off in the real world on your ship as bears and you need to get into the matrix to go to HoneyCon to steal this honey. Oh my, the great outdoors bear. What about this famous oh. panda, Mei Lan? Little Mei Lan was born in the United States in the land of zoo in 2006 with her name roughly translating to beautiful orchid. Mei Lan was originally seen to be female but was correctly identified as male after his reparation to China in 2010. He was once named person of the year by Atlanta's The Sunday Paper. Whoa, 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 wait, how is he person of the year? <laughs> Michael Vick. Why person of the year? Why not bear of the year? As Atlanta's person of the year? How yeah. do you stop eating my stuff? Maylon won person of the year. I'm dressed up as fucking Maylon. <laughs> I'm gonna need Your you to roll. Panda. I'm... I can be Bart the bear. So if you want to be dressed up as this famous panda, I think you're gonna have to ditch the baby Bjorn. Because I'm imagining this famous panda probably wasn't wearing anything. That's true. I'll have to take off my hats. Oh my gosh, there's a video. Oh, wow. There's a video of the famous panda Melon being pushed into a drain by another panda. <laughs> we need to find a drain. <laughs> Someone push me a drain. The comedian, so. he's a bear. No, he's a nut. He's a Never mind. I'm going to stop. <laughs> You, this line to get into the costume contest for the judging is very, <laughs> very long. It will take you a long time if you wait in line. I'd like to intimidate everyone in the line to move out of the way, please, because I'm a grizzly bear and I'm terrifying. All right, please roll me bear with your terrify. I am bear. So is that two dice, two d6? Yep. Yep, you get to roll 2d6 if you're driving or being terrifying. I'm not terrifying right now. Oh, hang on, wait, did I roll two? No, I, I rolled it different. Yeah, I, I passed. <laughs> I added it together. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you do to be terrifying, Mary Berry, in your Ewok getup? Um... Can I just swing at people? <laughs> I feel like it's a grizzly bear. I'm literally just gonna swing at people and roar like, rah, rah, like, like make a make a lot of noise. And I'm going to um, if any of them look stubborn and don't move, I'm literally picking them up and moving them. Okay. So what the way I see this scene based on what you said is, uh, you drop all this Ewok stuff except for the scarf because it's wrapped around your head. 
and you stand up in your on your big bare legs ah, and you swipe at say a trash can that they put out in the hallway and I'm you, throwing the trash can. Yep, you knock it over <laughs> and the trash spills everywhere and you, you know, uh trundle toward people roaring and yes, the people are terrified and the couple of people who look like they're not terrified of you and are going to stand their ground, you pick them up and you yeet them off the castle. I want to do the Hans and throw it out the window. Check it out the window. Do the Hans. Do the Hans. Do the Hans. <laughs> we don't talk about Hans enough. I love Hans. Hi, Me everyone. Too. This is our, uh, hour on the hour, we like to talk. Every, every, uh, other, if you turn, I did it. <laughs> I miss Hans. <laughs> now you never have to tell your aunt that you accidentally killed her pilot light. No, you've just recorded it online. <laughs> On the internet for everyone to know forever. I fixed a thing. No one had faith in me. I, I had faith. I just it never had faith. It was fear for your safety. <laughs> it's called love. You should look it. It's it funny. is love. <laughs> So, um, oh my goodness, I should have called my bear Hans. <laughs> well. You terrify everyone and the line gets very small. And before you know it, uh, the judges call up the next contestants for this contest. And there's no one left in line but the two of you. <laughs> Does that mean we win? <laughs> Dressed as Malone, that is, you know, the panda of the year, person of the year, Malone. I still have so many questions about that. That bear can be person of the year. Well, believe it. The about it too is that <laughs> the, the ladies, it was like, oh, look at this chick bear we have. We're going to send her to China so she can make more panda babies. And chick said, bear. <laughs> and she was like, I'm a boy bear, excuse me. A uh, so, unfortunately, no, you don't just automatically win. <laughs> Other contestants had already been judged before you. Are they still uh, there? Well, yes. So, like, you, you were in the line <laughs> to get judged, and then you go into the thing, and so, uh, in, in tr typical, like, high school drama fashion, the two of you are brought up on stage, and in front of you in the front row of the seats are four judges. There's a terrible goose. There's Mei Ling, because you gotta have a celebrity judge. I've watched enough cooking shows. <laughs> but you've got uh, advantage here, Jones. <laughs> is it, well, I mean, is it an advantage <laughs> or is uh, it a deficit? Who will find out? I stress again, have you seen him? He's adorable. <laughs> He's a He's a gift. <laughs> I'm a treasure. <laughs> uh, there's a moose. And there's a plain old dude sitting there, too, who's apparently a judge. <laughs> I love that. Moose, a goose. <laughs> Loose about this goose. Um, but... <laughs> plain old random guy. I'm plain old dude. Oh, hey, plain old dude. <laughs> There's always I, one. I'd mainly like to stand by Jones <laughs> like this. The Will Smith like. Push push me off the edge like I'm on the drain. I'll at, lift you up. Like. A, as an adequate white man, aren't there always adequate white men in the middle of things they shouldn't be? Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> uh, so yes, the goose, the moose, mainly. <laughs> And this random white guy. The twin man. His, they, the they're lad. Writing, writing on there in little notepads. What's and, his name? He's got to have like... It's, <laughs> uh, you, you see his badger, his badger, because all the badgers have name, you know, names on them. Because everyone everyone fills out their online handle on their badges, yeah, right? But when wait, they to, wait, does that mean the badger's called Dave or the man's called Dave? Is so, he the same person? The badger's working, so he's not a real person. He's just an NPC. The, the, the badger I has. I believe you'd say that about a badger. My father was a badger. My father was a badger. Mel's just trying to get three words. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So you you notice now that all of the badgers have scarves around them, and so that they hang down the back with the person's you know name on them. And this random white guy's name is apparently Doug. 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 That's, that makes sense. Doug, who does accounting, like probably. The week, but he's a he's a, he's a chartered he's a chartered accountant. It's a boring job. He he enjoys <laughs> his weekends yeah. at HoneyCon <laughs> <laughs> judging God. <laughs> to get a good taste of the honey. Mm-hmm. Or he's just <laughs> good. But his good friend's moose goose. <laughs> that oh sounds God. inappropriate, Alice. <laughs> what? Maybe Why? He maybe he just loves people in bear costumes. I mean, he's maybe he just... He's <laughs> a <laughs> He likes to come to experience the bears. <laughs> The, the bear, bear experience, <laughs> just the bear experience. <laughs> yeah, he just likes to get, like just be part of the bear experience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get it. So they're all taking notes and whatnot and judging you, and it's very awkward. Judging. Mary Berry, you're like, look at Jones, just Jones. Um, so Jones, just Jones, are you? Since you're pretending to be Mei Ling, I'm gonna need you to roll bear. Is my bear at four still, or is it at three? What's my bear at? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> What's my bear? At? It's my bear at four or three. Where's my bear at? <laughs> I failed, no, no, I failed something. So my bear is at least at four. Mm. And then you did, you you had a plan, so you went back. You had a flashback. Yeah, so my, my I was at it three because I succeeded at something. And then I went back to four because I failed at something. My bear is at four, I succeed this. Math. Bear well, math. You, <laughs> math, your, kids. Your, bear, your bear is at four because you took your honey specifically to get it to four, I remember now. Yeah. Wait. Because then if you failed, you'd be at five, which this would still succeed, oh. but... No, 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 my bear is at five, because then I failed to, like, cute everyone. Right? Wait, are you about to go full bear? I um, failed to make them any angry, so I got another point in bear, so my bear is at five. So that, I mean, that would still make this a success. So now that it's a success, does my bear go down to four because I succeeded at something? Yes. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha, my bear's up. Anytime you succeed in your plan, your po- a point goes into criminal, even if you're rolling against a bear. Ah, okay. Well, I bears am, don't plan. Criminals I, plan. I succeeded, but my bear is now at four. Um, so the judges ooh and ah and... Mary Berry pushes me off the edge when it's over, so it's like I get pushed into the ditch. Yeah, I'm pushing the ditch. <laughs> do you do you panda roll when she pushes you? Um, that's an important. Qu- I, I, I hold on, wait. Um, do you need to check the video? <laughs> <laughs> let's get to check the video. Hold on, let's see how. Oh my God, no! Oh no! It looks like Maylin grabs onto the edge of something desperately. <laughs> and then still, and then the branch breaks and Malin still falls. That fucking panda was a dick. He just pushed him <laughs> down and then walked down the stairs next to where Malin could have walked. <laughs> so how how do you want this to play out, Jones? Just Jones, since you succeeded your role. Um, when uh, Mary Berry pushes me off, I want to grab onto the pool noodle that still adhered to the baby Bjorn, and then slowly fall as the pool noodle breaks, like the roots of the tree, and then I fall onto the ground. Like it's a whole production. <laughs> it's a whole production. Malin will understand that I am a fan of his artistry. I mean, you, you successfully rolled bear, so you obviously practiced this skit ahead of time. This is what I do in my spare time. All right, and then uh, the the staff member that brought you in ushers you to the waiting contestants so the judges can talk amongst themselves about all the contestants. And you see, you know, you see Ewoks and other bears, and you see a couple of geese dressed up like other characters. And you know. Wait, so this was a bear competition, not an Ewok one? It was just a costume contest. 
<laughs> for things that like honey, like Ewoks and bears. So I literally could have just been myself. <laughs> I mean, you could have tried that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not salty, you can continue. <laughs> Um, how do I want to do this? <laughs> how do I want a life right now? Um, yeah, here's, yes, this is what happens. So, you're waiting for the judges to figure out what happens, and those sirens that you heard outside suddenly are right up against the castle, down on the ground, and you hear boots stomping through the castle, and as the judges are about to announce who wins the contest, the doors slam open and police officers rush in. I want what to would you point. Like to I want to point at Doug and go, "Imposter!" <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Please roll criminal. <laughs> I guess. Hang on, what am I on? I'm back to equal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First time my nat ones are actually paying off. So that means your criminal goes up because you succeeded. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, you, Mary Berry just points a paw and goes, that one there, it's an imposter. <laughs> it's, an imposter. it's him, he did it. <laughs> uh, Jones, would you like to do anything in this moment? I'm gonna scoop my butt underneath the chair. And I'm okay. a hide down there. Okay. I'm not gonna make you roll for that. I'm pretty sure I can't hide, so. Um, so but there's a I, lot. If I hide, the, there's a Kung Fu Panda that they might take in my stead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> it was like drag Pogo away. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. It was Mei Ling. It was Mei Ling. <laughs> Mailing gets arrested. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of police officers running around, <laughs> and the the few that burst into the room here uh, immediately go to Doug because Mary Berry was like, "That one there, he did it." Uh, and because Doug's not an animal, these this like four four or five police officers just tackle Doug to the ground <laughs> and wrestle him around. I mean, it's you know. These are, I guess these are very uh, American trained police officers because there's excessive force, but nobody cares. They're probably from Alberta, let's be real. <laughs> I mean, Can I'm I just... do the awkward shuffle away towards the honey, like, you know, behind the sidelines, even though I'm massive. Thank you for that subscription, other dog. <laughs> yes, you totally. <laughs> this, the, it, it, it devolves into the cartoon, like, cloud of dust with arms and legs coming in and out. <laughs> And you know, you hear the commotion, and Mary Berry's just like, gonna walk slowly what? away. Uh, Jones, you you hide under a chair, and it's one of those uh, metal folding chairs that they set up, you know, for uh, panels and stuff like that. And even though you're a panda bear, which you're smaller, you get stuck. Cool. So I'm gonna uh, actually crawl away with this new disguise that I have. Okay. Uh, I will I will say that you both managed to make it out of the room then. You still don't have any honey though. Where was like the um the honey that was like the good honey like the, the prize honey. honey? Where's yeah, the prize, prize honey? honey? Um So you heard people, I'm going to say you heard people talking about the big prize as you were doing all this other stuff earlier and uh you learn that it's being kept in a glass case in a display on the um oh I can't words all of a sudden they got real hard see so uh Alice you know at the level up dice boost they had the glass displays of everything like the display cases yeah it's a big it's in a big display case on the uh, uh okay. in in the in the uh vendor booth. area like it's you know it's in a booth it's 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 yeah it's in a booth. level up honey <laughs> sure we'll go with that <laughs> uh i'd like to go and press my nose up against the glass 
Oh, well, I mean, you got to go back to a different floor to get there, if that's what oh, the plan is. We have to go to through all floor. the people to the elevator, though. We have to go through the police to the elevator. Can we not just yep. scale the building? Is Can I pretend I'm having a galactic shock and, sh uh, and, and she has to get me down the floor? So you not. really want to go into galactic shock? Listen, I've learned that the sicker and more terrified you look, the less police are going to question you. Okay, then do that. <laughs> like, just pass out or something. And I'd like to scoop up Jones as he's doing this, and I'm going, bear down, bear down, as I sort of run through this crowd. Like, look out, it's contagious, shoving like Jones in the faces of people that try and stop them. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm going to need you both to roll criminal for this. I have a four in that now. <laughs> I have a two, I'm scared. I have a four. Fuck. Okay, so now I go back to three, three. Uh, <laughs> no, if you, if you have a foreign criminal, but you succeeded, you you still get a point into criminal. Oh, okay, then I'm at 5-1, yeah. and I have no money to control me. I'm at 5-1. <laughs> I was going to say, doesn't this make you at 5 bear, Bree? <laughs> You're 5 bear, and I'm 5 criminal? What a perfect pair. <laughs> Just snap. So, um... Unfortunately, you go through this huge production of try. Uh, pro Jones pretends to be very sick, and Mary Berry's like, "We need to get him out of here. He needs this, that, and the other." And there's just so much commotion with the police around and uh, people being moved around, and it doesn't help you get down there any faster. You do eventually get there, but it takes a while. No one ever notices the greatness that is I, Jones, just Jones, daughter. I mean, son of <laughs> Jessica, just Jones. Jessica, just Jones. And like, if like Jones is really pretending to be sick, I'm screaming like, contaminated! And like, picking him up and putting him in people's faces if they get to Ben Roger. Yeah. You do though, like, I wouldn't have plan... to liberate these badges. <laughs> is that a possibility? <laughs> Just quickly liberate the badges? Because they deserve I mean, anything's a possibility, badges. right? It just... <laughs> I, I think, I mean, if you want to liberate the Badgers, that's a, a noble goal, but I think you need to decide if if you want to liberate the Badgers or if you want the special honey. I definitely want the honey first, and then I'll think about it. Oh, yeah, I might like, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. Like, I'm not enough bear right now. <laughs> oh, I am full bear. Full bear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so unfortunately the plan doesn't work, but you do eventually manage to get back in the elevator and you make your way down to the vendor area and it's just utter chaos. Tables are flipped over, people and bears are running everywhere. There's cops, you know, doing cop things. Usually. And in the center of this chaos. Yeah, yes, like Scratch said, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what that's a reference to. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Really? <laughs> yes. Yep. I'm so confused and tired. Uh, just watched Ghostbusters 1984. Uh, anyway, in the center of this mass hysteria stands this one undisturbed table with this large case and in this glass case is a briefcase and you can see that's got locks on it and there's lasers in front of the glass and no one's like, done it. Like uh, bamboo? I don't know, do they? Let me look at what a laser looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Google has helped as well in this game. Is there anyone there? Are they green lasers? N no, they're red lasers. <laughs> the rare form of red bamboo. <laughs> Look up red, is there such thing as red bamboo? <laughs> you best believe you girl is looking it up. Yes, it is natural. Yes, red there is natural red, red bamboo. Off you go. <laughs> Can I like launch like like a paper airplane, Jones? At just this. You want a fastball special, Jones, into yeah. the lasers? I'm doing like. <laughs> if Jones wants to let you Ready, do that, Jones? sure. Launch me. 
Ready, Joe? <laughs> Watch me like it means something. <laughs> I okay. would like to yeet Jones into the lasers, please. My <laughs> Okay. You can definitely attempt this. I think, though, I'm going to need a roll for bear for Mary, because you're using your bear strength. Oh no, I only have a one. And I'm gonna need a criminal roll from Jones. Can I use one of my advantages? <laughs> wait, 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 you need a criminal roll from me? To maintain your position in the air and enough coordination to make your goal. But yeah, yes, Alice, if you want to roll with one of your advantages, you can. I'm tempted to, 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 I was about to say, I'm tempted to use my nat 20. Can I use my nat 20 as a nat fucking one? Screw I need the wall we're fighting next week. Like, I need to make this. <laughs> I need to succeed this. Can I use my nat 20 as a nat one? Same. <laughs> Chad has gener generously donated to your characters. You oh. can spend your things oh, as you want. Wait, 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 wait. If you succeed on this role, Mary Berry, you become full criminal. No, because I'm going bear. No, no, no. Every time you succeed any role, you get a point into criminal. That, then, see, then I'll go full criminal. So I need to. But if I fail that. Honestly, you should succeed this and I should fail this. You should use your 20 and I shouldn't. So I'll go full bear, you go full criminal, and we'll balance out somewhere in between. <laughs> okay, not 20. <laughs> okay, and I'll just, I'll just flat roll. Just okay. <laughs> I failed. Yeah! I am full bear. She's <laughs> okay. okay. <She's> full criminal. <laughs> Mary Berry yeets <laughs> Jones, just Jones, through the air. During this time, I go full fucking bear at the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so Jones, Jones, you have this moment of, oh my God, what are we doing? This isn't going to work. I'm not prepared for this. And you just get so mad and you just go full bear mid-flight. Um, but Mary, like you, you yeet. Jones at this thing, and you realize that, why should Jones have the honey? The honey should be for you and you alone. So, you become a mastermind on your own and are tempted to betray Jones, just Jones, your partner, because that's what happens when you go full criminal. And Jones, I go just full Jones. Criminal? Well, yeah, because you succeeded and you were at five criminal. Oh, yeah, I went full criminal. <laughs> And Jones, just Jones, you are just, you are full bear. You're, you're almost, you're not quite rabid because you're not actually rabid, but you're mm, snarling and growling and, I mean, as right much as kind of bears. If I use Scrap's private message, how many advantages have you used? I used one regular advantage. Alice used one nat 20. I used a nat 20. <laughs> yep. Um... If I've just yeeted Jones towards the lasers, I'm gonna wait for Jones to smash the glass going through the lasers to grab the suitcase. Yeah, Jones goes full through in all of that. Okay. Um, the lasers aren't like harmful lasers, they're just alarms. So Jones, Jones, you full bear just through the laser, through the glass as it shatters, and... Um, I mean, if you've gone full bear, are you even aware enough of your surroundings to try and make a grab at the briefcase? I don't think it would be like, make a grab. I think it would be like, there's honey in here and I smell it and I'm bearing at it. You're so bearing at it? <laughs> I'm just doing the bear thing and like chewing on the chains and like kind of rolling around because I'm also a panda. Okay, so I'll say that you do manage to uh, in mid-flight, as you're smashing glass, you manage to grab the handle of the briefcase in your mouth, and you tumble past the thing with it, and Mary Berry, you see all this happen. Um, it, so, um, Jones has the suitcase in his mouth, mm -hmm. then I'm grabbing Jones and running for it. Put me on the Bjorn! <laughs> <laughs> Just angrily uh. gnawing. <laughs> I'm grabbing Jones and running. If I have to go down a drain pipe, I'm doing it. All right, you grab Jones. Jones has the briefcase. 
And uh, as Mary Berry <laughs> runs through the chaos, you hear someone go, that's a bear, call animal control. <laughs> I'd like yeah. to bear pour them. <laughs> Just bear pour them. <laughs> Oof. Oof. I have evidence on YouTube that that is a thing they do. D polar bears can paw off your head. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I don't want to pour yep. off the head, but I want to send this person flying through like lots of different. Yeah, you totally. This person yells, "That's a that's an actual bear! Call animal control!" <laughs> and uh, at, like as you're running towards them, and you just backhand them <laughs> over a bunch of tables and make more of a mess in this area. Yeah. And, and then uh, I'm heading for a window. Okay. There's some nice windows in Casa Laura. Casa Laura, you, yeah. And I, by that, I mean I'm heading for a window to launch, like, swan dive out of it to land in the fountain. Or onto the moose waiting for us downstairs. Yes, can we do it in a fantasy, like, you know. Storm and Norman. Storm and Norman. I sound a horn. I sound a trumpet. And then all the moose <laughs> come to my aid. <laughs> Storm and Norman, we have the honey. <laughs> I'd like to swan dive. Well, I'd like to sound the horn. Summon all the meast, swan dive out of a window onto a moose on Stormy Norman. I mean, we're already maxed of everything, and I'm just, a, I am like getting through these chains while this is happening. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Do you so, want full crystal mastermind? Uh, How Mary Berry went time. full, <laughs> having gone full criminal mastermind, you realize that if you jump out this specific window, that the moose is still waiting outside and you can land on it and make your daring escape. And Jones, just Jones, all you care about is getting into this briefcase and getting into that honey. And me. Yep, I would like to do that, please. All right. I mean, yep. there's, I, no, I run, there's no need. I don't think there's I any need to roll because your stats are already <laughs> maxed out in either direction. And yep. I do, I, my arms go out full side, full Assassin's Creed, launch out it's of this window as it shatters. <laughs> And I land elegantly with my arms still out on the moose. Yep. I'm so I, storming Norman, and I sort of. I, I I'm imagining um I'm imagining that scene from Cowboy Bebop, except you don't back back into it. You jump out <laughs> jump forward. Out. <laughs> but it's the it's the cathedral scene in Cowboy Bebop, and everything slows down for a moment, Mary Berry, because you jump out and the glass shatters. <laughs> And you see the scene laid out below you of Storm and Norman standing by the fountain, and you hear the music swell in your in your imagination, and you realize that the life of a criminal is what you really want. You don't want to be a bear. You want to be a criminal. Look at how do much you, criminals get to do. Don Barry, uh, uh, Mary Barry. And Jones, just Jones, you just you need that honey. You really need that honey. You know it's right I in your face. I need a fix right now. I, need, you know, I can't do nothing talking about fix. <laughs> Okay, so you can we, stick to the today. I, I think we have these two very disparate scenes of everything for Mary Berry slows down as they realize the life of a criminal is what they want. But in Jones, just Jones's case, everything is sped up because they really need this fix. They need this honey, man. They can't, they, just, they need it, you know, they gotta have it. And it's in this briefcase and they just need to, got, they need to get it. And suddenly you're smack down on Storm and Norman. And the sirens are wailing around you. And Storm and Norman get startled. He's like, oh, is that it, eh? It's time to go now. To the swimming pool. And I'd like to run. <laughs> All right. And Storm and Norman <laughs> goes galloping in that moose way da back down the 401 through the traffic. <laughs> and uh, on your way to this, uh, back to this pool, Mary Berry, you still have this thought of, why should this bear get your honey? And I'll leave it up to you to decide if Mary Berry does anything because of that. You don't share those honey cakes. You owe honey cakes to a lot of people, lady. Yeah, as I say, like, I, it's more I need the honey and I will feed it to Jones as, as well as, because I might be a, crim a criminal, but I understand that criminals have to have connections and friendship, friendships. <laughs> So I think I think we're nearing the end of our tale as Storm and Norman trundles down the 401 into the sunset 
with Mary Berry, the criminal mastermind, and Jones Just Jones, the full panda bear, mm. and their lawfully <laughs> taken ill got item, you know, they got the honey. They, they, okay, you won. <laughs> you won. You totally won. You won Honey Heist. You you beat HoneyCon 2020. <laughs> the <mystical laughs> land of Toronto, Canada. That's a t-shirt I want. <laughs> So I guess that's our story today, everyone. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay. Um. Thank you, Mal. I don't know if you're regretting it yet or not that you had just reunited the Sunny Heist before. Um. Yeah, this was amazing. I love Honey Heist. It's done by Grant Howitt. Um, so please go um, check him out on Twitter as well. Um, he does loads of one-page games. I know he's got, is it Sexy Battle Wizards? Um, he's um, got Honey Heist, uh, Trash Pandas, you name it. There's loads and loads of them. So please go and check that out. Otherwise, um, a huge, huge thank you to our wonderful sponsors in the form of Mage Hand Press. If you love D&D and you love space, you smush them together and you get Mage Hand Press's Dark Matter, which I absolutely love. So please go check that out. Also, um, the wonderful Hero Forge, they've smashed all their goals and they keep putting out more and we keep smashing them because they um, produce some really amazing stuff. I know the kobolds have just been released. Uh, the full color mini minis are looking amazing. And last but certainly not least, also the deck of many. Uh, the deck of many things or many animated things. If you love seeing bears and stuff, just call shenanigans, check out Humblewood because it's like birds, foxes, you name it, all full of wooden life, probably causing shenanigans, which may be on the channel next season. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, otherwise, yes, who shall we raid chat? Who shall we raid? I don't know. Where are we sending this chaos? Where are we sending the bears? <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for coming. <laughs> We'll be back again in a few hours with another um, game, but keep evoking emotions. They were evoked tears, just not how they normally are. Um, see you later. Bye. <laughs>